Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage today on a 1965 Mustang. We're going to change the brake light switch, or as they called it in 1965, the stop switch. Now before we do that, I want to remind you a couple things. So we have the members only area of Pete's Garage. I'll be opening up very soon. It'll give the opportunity to have uh, the access to, to some exclusive content, uh, giveaways, live events. I'll be doing a lot of cool stuff this summer, so keep an eye out for that. Also, one thing I'd like to do, uh, one thing has changed, well, a lot of things have changed over the last 18 months, right? Um, but one thing that has really changed for car guys or people that work on cars, specifically people who build engines, are machine shops. A lot of machine shops in the U.S. around the world have either laid off tons of people so they don't do that much work anymore or they've completely closed. And I have been getting emails, phone calls, text messages from people around the world asking me if I know a machine shop in somewhere in Minnesota or in Alabama, uh, people calling me from the UK, Australia. There's people all over the place who need work done to their engines, blocks, heads, cranks, machined. They need this work done, but they cannot find a machine shop. So well, this is what I'd like to do. I would like to start a list, uh, a database of worldwide machine shops. That way I can make it available to everyone. So if someone calls and says, hey, do you know a machine shop near me? I can look it up, bang, and I can give them the name of the machine shop. So if you know a machine shop or many machine shops, if you own a machine shop, whatever it is, help me out. Let's help everyone around the world out. And you can do one thing for me, please. You could either, you can text me. Uh, my phone number is on the end of the video. You can email me, uh, petesgarageinfo at gmail.com or uh, text email or or leave a comment below what am i thinking leave a comment below with the name of the machine shop and this is what i need to really have a complete database the name of the machine shop and the city and state it's located in the phone number so we can at least call them and verify that they're actually a machine shop and what kind of services they offer are they a full service machine shop for for engines cylinders heads blocks whatever uh, how much work do they do are they reasonable did you have good experience bad experience so let's build a huge database that we can share with everyone around the world now let's get to this brake switch oh i'm sorry stop switch these switches are pretty easy to change. It's located right on the brake pedal stem itself. And I'll tell you what, when you start this job, you're gonna make your life a whole hell of a lot easier if you loosen the master cylinder first so the rod is nice and loose. Now the first thing you wanna do is pull off the connector to the brake lights. Then on the left side of the brake pedal, there's a cotter pin. Pull that cotter pin out. Now it's easy to get a screwdriver in there to pry the push rod for the master cylinder off of the brake pedal. This is a good time to change the plastic bushing if it's cracked or worn. So do that now or order it ahead of time so you have it and you can change it now. And it's just as easy as pulling the switch off, putting the new switch on the rod for the master cylinder, pushing it onto the brake pedal stud, put the cotter key back in, put the connector back on, test it out a couple times, and you're back in business. These switches are pretty cheap. They're only five or 10 bucks, and you can change in about 20, 25 minutes. Now, don't forget, we got a lot of great stuff coming up this summer, a lot of great giveaways, a lot of exciting things, so look out for Pizza Garage membership only area, and thanks for stopping by Pizza Garage.